It is time now for Ask the Expert as the temps start to warm up. It's a good time to check out some of the toys that your dogs are playing with. So joining us live this afternoon, Angela Speed with the Wisconsin Humane Society, and she just may have the cutest puppy in the world. Yes, this is Tinka, and she is just three months old, uh -huh. but she has a lot of growing to do. She's okay. beautiful, first of all, yeah. and I just love, she's got all this <laughs> extra that. skin <laughs> to right. grow into. <laughs> yep. I think she'll probably be a pretty big big girl, and as you can see, she's just got a very chill personality. Very much, just the time we've been you. here. Almost very on much. the lazy side. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you use that word than me so we don't get an email. Right? <laughs> it is, it can be very manageable. Not to say she doesn't play, she does like to Good. to play with her sister and she loves toys but she certainly loves a good nap and she is available for adoption today at her Milwaukee campus oh. she's been speed microchip vaccinated ready to, go. Set to yeah. go so speaking of the toys that she likes to play with what what kind of what toys are good this time of year when you're talking about outside sure. and well you know generally this time of year when we're talking about getting products to to help our animals stay healthy mm -hmm. and happy number one looking at the temperature forecast we're gonna start to see mosquitoes and fleas mm -hmm. and so number one get your dog on a flea and um, tick preventative and get them started on heartworm medication. Um, but as far as toys, there are wonderful toy options for puppies. You got um, some here, right? Interactive toys. This is one of my favorites. It's actually a water toy. Oh, so it okay. can be tossed in for dogs who like to play in the water. Mm -hmm. And it's a floatable toy. Um, but any sort of toys that you can put treats into oh. are really good for not only you know their entertainment, um, but it also challenges their mind and keeps them active. So treat dispensing toys can be great um, as well. What else? Uh, what else you get in your goodie bag there? Yeah. So another another thing is that um, you know people are walking their dogs at night now. Yeah. As it gets warmer, you want to be outside more. Um, but it can be a little bit unsafe at night unless you have um, protective gear. So this is actually a light that attaches oh. to their yeah. collar. And we also have products like this that atta attach to leashes so that drivers can see you at night. That's great. Yeah, we see so much, street. yeah, you know, with runners, bikers, other people who are out at night, you might as well think about your, your pet as well. Absolutely. Um, wearing protective uh, vests can be really important to, to keep you and your animals sure. safe. And then lastly, it's getting muddy outside. Oh, yes. <laughs> so yeah. there are as many shampoos for dogs mm -hmm. as there are for people. Um, so definitely do your research for dog shampoo, but it is very popular this time time of year um, as dogs are playing in the mud and, and bringing that inside mm -hmm. uh, you might if your dog is sensitive to different shampoos you might look for something that isn't scented or is based with oatmeal which can be very soothing to their skin okay all right this could be your chance two I boys know, will really I love know. that dog my husband would be so mad can you imagine <laughs> if I just came down yeah just hello look look what I got today <laughs> all right have a question for our experts email them at ask the expert at today's tmj4.com all you have to do is leave a voicemail there if you want to drop off a question. And